Well, anyway, basically the next couple of mornings, we could easily be waking up to temperatures in the upper teens to the low wow. 20s, which potentially could be the coldest temperatures we've seen in a long time, if, if not the last several years. Now, the coldest morning we've seen so far this winter, 25 degrees. So we're looking at anywhere about 18 to uh, 23, 24 degrees heading into tomorrow morning. Now, all these showers that we've been kind of seeing off and on all day will start to taper off. So we'll start to dry out, but I want to go back out to along I-84 near Pendleton, where we talked about the uh, the shutdown of I-84 near Pendleton and LeGrand. You're still going to be dealing with snow showers here the next couple of hours and up and down the I-5 corridor. It's just going to be kind of cold and rainy. A few snow showers up in the mountains and throughout the coast range, but I think we're basically done with any uh, it, accumulation, which we've basically been seeing here the last two or three days or so. But with that said, we still have some watches and warnings throughout the coast range. We're uh, still have that uh, winter weather advisory in place the rest of tonight, and you can see that purple color winter storm warning here the next couple of hours throughout parts of eastern Oregon. A it's going to be a while before we get that section of I-84 cleared out and up and down the Oregon Cascades. It's a winter weather advisory. That's in effect until about 10 o'clock tonight. You can be looking at another couple of inches of snow by the time uh, you get ready to wrap up your President's Day evening. So up and down the I-5 corridor tonight. Here we are at 9 o'clock. We'll still see some lingering clouds, but once these clouds clear out as that east wind starts to kick in, we're going to be seeing our temperatures drop dramatically. You can see by tomorrow morning up and down the I-5 corridor along the coast, a lot of sunshine, but you'll notice the cold temperatures and that east wind that starts to move through. I'm forecasting gusts anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour. So you factor in the wind chill and it's going to be feeling more like the mid to the upper teens in a few spots and up in the Oregon Cascades. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing a wind chill by minus 10 throughout parts of tomorrow morning and in the early part of the afternoon. Now, with that said, there's still a light showers out there in the vicinity, so we could be waking up to some a few snow showers up in the high elevations. Snow level drops down to 500 feet tonight. You're not going to be seeing any accumulation. But again, what doesn't um, basically dry out here the next couple of hours could freeze overnight. So there could be the potential of some slick roads on your Tuesday morning commute. Right now, we're looking at a temperature of 41 degrees in downtown Portland. Again, coldest temperatures of the year arrive not just tonight, but basically the next three mornings. We're going to be seeing temperatures right around the upper 20s to the or rather the low 20s to the mid 20s. We have that strong east winds in place the next couple of days and a few snow showers here the next couple of hours. But again, you're not going to be seeing any accumulation. So I'm forecasting lows dropping down basically the low to mid 20s the next couple of nights. You can kind of see on the left part. These are the where the record stands. So there's a good chance that we're going to be seeing some new records here over the next couple of days. This model is showing that by about midnight, we're going to be seeing our temperatures dropping down right around freezing. I'm forecasting temperatures just a couple degrees cooler from what this model is saying. Regardless, it's going to be cold and windy over the next couple of days. You factor in the breezy conditions throughout the um the east side of the state or east side of the metro area, it's going to be feeling more like the low 20s and still picking up some of those snow showers up over the Oregon Cascades. It's a live look from Timberline Lodge, temperature of 21 degrees. I think we have some video of the conditions from earlier of, up at Mount Hood Meadows. Basically, you've been seeing anywhere from about 15, 18 inches of new snow here the last 24 hours. Yeah, you're going to see a couple more heading into the overnight hours, but it's uh, been great conditions up in the mountains. But for tomorrow, it's going to be bitterly cold and dangerously cold throughout the Oregon Cascades. Here we are by tomorrow afternoon. We'll be seeing a temperature of 32 degrees. I'm forecasting a high of 36. It's not going to feel like it because of that wind chill. And then looking into Wednesday, it won't be as windy, but it's still going to be cold. Now there's a weak system that arrives late Wednesday night into Thursday that could be bringing a little mix of some rain and snow early Thursday morning. But for the most part, we're going to be seeing some drier conditions and warmer temperatures heading into the later part of the week. But get ready for some very dangerous cold temperatures the next couple days.